Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to enhance a portrait in just a slight way by using the HSL adjustment layer, but not using any slider in it. So let's get started. So I just pulled this stock photo in. I just typed portrait, and it's from Pixabay, and it's right here. In fact, I'll do it again. Just let me just do, let me delete this. Get rid of this. I'm going to say File, New. Doesn't matter what the size is because once I pull the portrait in and I say Document Clip Canvas, it's the right size now for the portrait. So we have this portrait and I'm going to duplicate that portrait because I want to be able to show you the differences just in case. So I'm going to do Control or Command J. So I just duplicated that layer. Now I'm going to turn this one off right now. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it's going to be a very subtle change to the portrait, but I'm going to go to the adjustment layer and go HSL. And on HSL, I'm going to turn it to color burn. And that's all I need to do there. So now if I click the icon in the HSL and I go to effects, the fill opacity, that's not the whole opacity, it's the fill opacity I'm going to bring down. So I'm going to bring this down, and you could see it changes as I bring it down. And we don't know exactly where we want it to be yet, so let's do 14% for now. And then I'm going to do another HSL adjustment. So I'm going to do, that was color burn, and next one is HSL and I'm not changing the sliders, I'm not touching these sliders, and this time I'm going to do Color Dodge. And when I do Color Dodge, I'm going to take that, actually I can move this one to the top, right here, same thing. So this is Color Burn, and now I click on this one, and it's Color Dodge, and once again I go to Effects, and Fill Opacity, and bring that down. So you can decide how much you want to bring it down. So I'm going to just group these two together, just so you can see. If I turn this off or on, now this is very harsh. I don't want it that harsh. So all I have to do is go into the one, I'm not sure which one that was. I think it was the color burn. And go back to effects and bring it down. And maybe, I don't know, that's that's a zero. We don't want zero. So let's try a 7%. And then we'll go to the color dodge. And then hit effects again. And we will bring that one down. Just a tiny bit like that. Maybe another 7%. So now, it's a subtle difference. But you see this one looks a little flat. And this one to me looks a little bit more vibrant. And you can make adjustments on top of that after the fact. You can use curves or anything. But I really, I don't even know if you can see it on YouTube. I'm going to try and get a close-up so you can see some of it. That's before and that's after. You can even see down here the shadows change. See the difference there? And how brighter this gets when I turn it on. And I kind of like that. So, and I can go in at any time. Like I said, if you touch the icon, like this is the color burn, that's the color dodge one, and you go to effects, and maybe you want a little more, a little less, I can brighten this up a little bit more. And then I can go to this one, touch effects, and I can either lower it or brighten it. That's way too much, of course, but I'm just trying to show you the kind of effects you can get. And it, it's very subtle, but I think it's a nice change. And so here, you see the difference there and there? I think this looks a little flat without it. And then if I turn it on, I think it gives it a little more of a vibrance for me, to my taste. Everyone has their own taste. And then you can make adjustments on top of that after the fact, like I said, with curves or HSL or anything else. But this is just a simple way of using HSL without using the color sliders. So I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, 
please click like and subscribe and have a great day.